I don't like to learn Spanish with ChatGPT. ChatGPT isn't that great for children's language learning. But don't worry, I'll show you what works instead. By the end of this video, you'll know why we ditched ChatGPT, how to find the perfect affordable language app for your children, uh, regardless of language and age, a step-by-step -step plan to kickstart your child's language learning journey today. And finally, my favorite trick, a secret weapon for teaching kids languages. No expensive tools, no complicated methods, just proven strategies that work for real kids, like Selena that you saw here earlier. Hi, my name is Bill. As a seasoned language teacher with over a decade of experience teaching two languages, I have seen firsthand what works and what doesn't. The new ChatGPT model promises more intelligence and capabilities, but is it really good enough for language learning for the type of use that we need? Children. In today's video, we'll explore this and also share a real life example from my daughter, Selena. Hola, mi nombre es Selena. That means, hi, my name is Selena. We'll give you a glimpse into her language learning journey and how you can teach your child any language with the right process. Stay tuned to see how Selena went from struggling with ChatGPT to confidently speaking Spanish phrases in just a few weeks. In this video, we will reveal why we ditched ChatGPT for language learning and what tools Selena now uses. I don't recommend skipping through the video because I also share that secret weapon along the way rather than at the end of the video. This uh, sort of uh, trick works on all children and levels. It's almost free and requires no planning really to get started. Today is not really about learning Spanish, but in the same way that a chef might demonstrate cooking techniques using a specific recipe, we will use Spanish to illustrate universal language learning principles. That way you can apply it to the language that your kid is going to learn. Daddy, can we start with the fun part? Yes, let's have some fun. I started to learn Spanish about three weeks ago. Let me take you back three weeks in time. Selena comes to me and she says, uh, uh, she says, uh, Dad, I want to learn Spanish. <laughs> Does that sound like her voice? Um, now, I don't speak Spanish at all. So I'm thinking, oh boy, how are we going to do this? We tried ChatGPT first. Disaster. We went through app after app after app. Some were too boring. Some were too complicated. But then we found it the perfect app. Selena's eyes just lit up and suddenly learning Spanish wasn't another task to do. It was fun. And that's what I want to help you find for your kids today. First of all, to get something out of the way, ChatGPT is way more expensive than other language learning tools on the market. As an example, I can mention that ChatGPT comes with a tie sprag of about 10 times more expensive compared to the tool that we ended up using for Selena. <gasps> that is a lot of allowance money. Yes, but our tool is very reasonable priced. It's fun and it actually works. Curious? I will reveal it in just a bit, but first let me show you why ChatGPT didn't work for us. You see, that's the problem. Okay. So I want you to speak Spanish very slowly to me and I will respond in English. Sí, entiendo. ¿Cómo estás hoy? 
I'm doing fine. What about you? Me alegra saberlo. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? Yeah, you see here, the problem is that she speaks way too fast. <laughs> so that's really hard when you're a beginner. Can you speak slower? Por supuesto. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? Did you understand that? No. No entendí. ¿Cuál es tu pasatiempo favorito? Mm -hmm. What did you say now? Something about favorite? Claro, pregunté. What is your favorite hobby? Oh. Claro, pregunté. Do you like gymnastics a lot? Yes. Qué bien. ¿Cuánto tiempo has practicado gimnasia? Oh, I think she said, did, did you understand? Maybe she said, how many times a week do you practice gymnastics? She, the, she doesn't even know that I have a gymnastic class. AI knows everything. This seemed to work out just fine, didn't it? Or not? What was not working? I did understand some things that were said because I had prior experience with several Latin languages, but Selena, who already studied Spanish for about two weeks at the point of recording that clip, did not understand. So she needed constant support from me and I never learned any Spanish. Speaking of support, why don't you support us by liking this video? So why didn't ChatGPT work for us? Three big reasons. One, no learning strategy. It's not really built for learning languages, so your children will be on their own. Two, it assumes you already know some of the language. Not really great for beginners. And three, it's just not fun for kids. Trust me, I tried with Selena and, well, you saw at least some of that, how that ended up, right? No, not this one. Although I have to say that the new voice model that was just released is a lot better. And I think we will be using this in the future. Take a look at this uh, clip. Hey, I'm Christine, and I'm a native English speaker, but I've been trying to learn Portuguese for fun. And hi, I'm Nacho. I speak Spanish natively, English, and I understand most of Portuguese, but I can't really speak it. So can you uh, help us have a conversation in Portuguese? Claro que sí. Estou aqui para ajudar. Vamos lá. Could you start us off with a conversation? Maybe ask us a few questions in Portuguese so we can practice? Claro. Vamos começar. Fra Christine... Christine, o que você gosta de fazer no seu tempo livre? E para Nacho, qual a sua comida brasileira favorita? Uh, okay, I'll try. Uh, eu gosto de tocar piano. Que legal, Christine. Tocar piano é uma habilidade incrível. E você, Nacho? Um, eu gosto de jogar... Uh, how do you say chess? Xadrez. Eu gosto de jogar xadrez. Ok. É interessante, eu... Nacho. Eu gosto de jogar xadrez. But despite of all its abilities, it'll definitely be more challenging to use for children and especially for beginners. Over time, children can probably adapt and use it as a speaking partner, but for now, since it hasn't been possible for us to test it ourselves, we will not consider this model further in this video. But of course, the biggest problem here is that a child really needs strict structure when learning a language. But yeah, we'll definitely come back to it once it's all rolled out. But what about these uh, GPTs, as they call it? These custom GPT models that has been made inside of ChatGPT? If you open this one agent that is supposed to teach you Spanish, it just start writing to you in Spanish and it just expects you to be able to answer. The native voice is also way too fast in that model. Not to mention OpenAI's overloaded servers that makes it very difficult to use sometimes. Learning with ChatGPT is like reading in the dark. Yeah, 
Although ChatGPT is a mess right now, I imagine it's all going to change in the future. Now, I gotta ask, have any of you tried teaching your kid a language with ChatGPT? How did that work out? Drop it in the comments below. If you haven't tried ChatGPT, what's holding you back? Is it the cost, the complexity? Let me know. Now that we've seen why ChatGPT didn't work for us, let's move on to finding the right tool for your child. But here's the crazy part. The tool that revolutionized Selena Spanish learning isn't just more effective, it's also dirt cheap. Okay, but how specifically do you find the best language learning tool for your child? Our goal on this channel is to help parents like you become the best resource possible for uh, their children in this regard. It's all about finding a process that works. Before we dive into the specific tools to use, let's talk about why your kid wants to learn a language in the first place. In our case, Selena wanted to learn Spanish, basically just for fun. I don't speak any Spanish and she she's not in a rush to learn this language. This affected our choice of tools. So what is your kid's motivation? Is it for school, travel, curiosity? Keep that in mind as we go through this because it'll help you pick the right tool for your situation. This is my learning tool. Before I reveal the app that transforms Selena's Spanish learning, let me ask you this. What if I told you that the most effective tool for your child could also be one of the most affordable ones on the market? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, prepare to be amazed. Can you show them my favorite part, Daddy? We can. We chose an app called School Bus, available in the App Store. It's user-friendly and engaging, making it easy for Selena to learn independently. It's also free to test. Um, I have to mention though that we are situated in Thailand, so the price could be different where you live. Stick around, cause we will soon reveal our secret trick. In a minute, I will give you some specific examples of how you can go about finding the right language learning apps for your child, regardless of age and, uh, you know, the language of interest. But first, I'm gonna give you the golden nugget that I promised in the beginning, the secret weapon. This is uh, effortless language learning for kids. It's not an app. It's not AI. It's not really a weapon. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, it's strategically using Netflix. Let me show you exactly how to turn your child's screen time into a language learning powerhouse. This is especially useful for younger kids because they soak up the language so easily. So go to the Netflix settings, find the settings for both audio language and subtitle language. Check the box for the language that your child is going to learn. Also check the box for English under subtitles. If it's not already checked, that is. Then you show your child a movie that is familiar. It should now be possible to choose the foreign language as an audio language and English as the subtitle language inside the video or the movie. So your kid will now immediately start picking up the language. But just remember that you may not notice an improvement at once. And that is because this is a passive language learning um, method. So it takes a bit of time. Okay, let's sit down and think how we can assemble the best learning tools for your child trying to learn a foreign language. What do you really need? The most important is actually fun. Without that, you cannot convince them to do it in the first place, right? And then the question becomes, what parts are needed to learn any language, as a foreign language that is? Let's start with the easiest part. 
find an app that your child think is fun. Simply download from the App Store, try for free, and if they like it, you can use it. If not, you find a new one. For Selena, we downloaded and tried a couple before we found one she really liked. Remember that this phase is just to capture your kid's interest. It's not necessarily for your child to learn a lot. Okay, so next on our list of three is pronunciation. It's important to implement this as early as possible because mispronunciation will be harder to turn around the longer you wait. From personal experience, I've seen this a hundred times. Although, for children, it's a bit easier to correct mispronunciation than it is for adults. For pronunciation, I would choose something like Pimsleur Language Learning Program. Uh, link in the description. But for basic pronunciation training, you do get some of it in these standard language learning apps as well. I'll give you those in a minute. And there are different ones for different age groups. Yeah, okay. So I want to make you aware that we are just scraping the surface here today. So there's a lot more to say about all the points in this video, but we are just trying to quickly walk through it to give you an overview. Going forward, we'll be focusing on releasing more content that goes into more depth in all these different areas of language learning for kids. So now is the time to subscribe to get more of that in the future. All right, so we are now discussing the third and last component that your child needs to learn any language. Phrases. Don't just have the child learn words. That said though, this is probably going to be the simplest part. You could actually just use Google Translate uh, where you can both translate from the, you know, from English and also listen to a native speaker for short, simple phrases. Just be aware that it doesn't always work grammar-wise. So if the phrases are long, then that might be a problem. Oh, okay, let's get to it. So now I'm gonna give you some specific apps that can function as a base for your child's language learning, regardless of language. And the good thing about these apps is that you only have to install them, give the device to the child, and then they will just start learning by themselves. For children from two to six years old, you can try Gus on the go. If your child is four to eight years old, you can use School Bus. That is the one that uh, Selena uses. For children around six to 10, you can use Duolingo. I like that little green owl. For teenagers, if they want more challenge, you can use Rosetta Stone. Remember, the strategies discussed here are for children learning a completely new foreign language. It's easier if you, if you as a parent already know the language that you are trying to teach your child. If this is the case for you, you're going to love this other video that we recorded earlier, where you can see how Selena learned the basics of English in just three weeks. That is not clickbait. You can watch it now and discover our multilingual learning secrets. Hola, mi nombre es Selena. Tengo ocho años. Vivo en Tailandia.